So he uh, apparently made a business deal with uh, somebody uh, uh, to do a new dubbing and a new uh, edit, uh, which would be called Kimba the Lion Prince. And uh, this was recorded in Canada. And uh, this was just at the time that Disney's Lion King had come out in 1994. So in the new English language scripts that they adapted from the Japanese animation. The scripts, of course, had to match the original animation. That was fixed. But they could change the dialogue a bit. So they made it a bit more like the original, uh, or, I mean, a bit more like Disney's Lion King than uh, Lion King had been like uh, 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 Kimba in the first place. Uh, in, in both series, the young lion is fighting a villainous older lion with a scar on his face. But in the original Japanese version, there was uh, never any hint that there was a relationship between the two. Uh, the lion they called Boss Claw was just a big uh, bully, a gangster, who had sort of moved in in the power vacuum between the time Kimba's father was killed and Kimba returned to the jungle. So Kimba had to beat him. But uh, in the uh, uh, Kimba the Lion Prince version they did, they called him uh, uh, Kimba's uncle, uh, which was a lot more like uh, the Lion King, where uh, Scar was the uncle of Simba. And this made it look, uh, uh, to fans who didn't know the full story, as additional proof that the Lion King was simply an uh, imitation of uh, the 1960s uh, Kimba TV series, which was not true. The controversy between um, uh, the Lion King and, and Kimba the White Lion came when the, uh, the, the Lion King movie came out. And uh, a number of fans noticed some points of similarity between that and the Kimba the White Lion TV series, um, such as the fact that uh, uh, Simba and Kimba were both the uh, sort of crown prince of the, of the, of the jungle, so to speak. Uh, they both had uh, elderly baboons, as prime ministers call them, and a, uh, a sort of hot-tempered, uh, squawky bird as its comic relief, uh, and uh, laughing hyenas as comic relief villains, and a more serious uh, scar-faced lion as the main villain and so on. Um, so uh, the fans wondered how much connection there was between Kimba and The Lion King. Well, Disney said officially that nobody who worked on The Lion King had ever heard of Kimba the White Lion or Tesca. Uh, this was so ridiculous that most of the fans didn't believe it. Now, a lot of the fa American fans had not seen Kimba themselves, or if they had, it was only when they were young children, because it hadn't been on American television since the late 1970s. So uh, they were not that familiar with the details themselves, and some of them uh, exaggerated the similarities between Kimba and uh, Disney's movies, such as whether uh, Boss Claw was supposed to have been Kimba's uncle or not. Um, at the time, Disney uh, officially maintained that uh, you know none of its production people had ever heard of, of uh, Tesca or of Kimba, and I guess that's still the official story. Uh, now that's that was back in 1994 and 95, which is over five or six years ago. Today, if you ask a number of the animators who worked on it, they said, of course they'd heard of Tesca and Kimba. In fact, they felt almost professionally insulted that Disney management uh, insisted that they claimed that they had never heard of it. But uh, uh, they do not feel that they had uh, plagiarized uh, Kimba, uh, uh, yeah, Kimba in, in, in any real sense, any more than Tesca had plagiarized uh, Kimba from Bambi. Tesca always admitted that it was Bambi that gave him the inspiration, but he had his own ideas as to how he thought the story should develop, and that was what he did. 
uh, the uh, Disney animators, uh, uh, apparently they got the idea because Jeffrey Katzenberg said, hey, Bambi is real popular. Why don't we do a sort of uh, new version of Bambi, only let's set it in Africa, you know, King, uh, King of the Jungle. Uh, I have no idea whether Jeffrey Katzenberg was familiar with uh, Kimba or not, but it's a, it was a fairly obvious idea for a Disney executive to come up with. And uh, having said, you know, let, let's do a remake of Bambi with uh, African animals, uh, he turned it over to the Disney story people. So I certainly don't think that uh, Disney management gave any orders to rip off Jungle Emperor. And uh, you know, if maybe a couple of the individual anim uh, animators sort of remembered a, a couple of uh, uh, details about the original series, um, uh, putting that stuff in was uh, uh, their way of doing a tribute back to Tezka, as Tezka had made uh, uh, the um, uh, Jungle Emperor a tribute to Mambi. And again, this is not uh, exactly um, a new thing for Disney. If you look at Beauty and the Beast, and if you compare it with the late 1940s live-action French version uh, by Jean Cocteau, there are a couple of uh, details that sort of make it obvious that the Disney animation crew was familiar with Cocteau's version. They were not ripping it off, but they were giving a tribute to a filmmaker who had done an earlier version of it. The uh, official response of Tezuka Productions in Japan was that since Tezuka himself had originally uh, acknowledged that uh, Jungle Emperor was inspired by Disney's Mambi, uh, they did not feel that they could morally object to Disney doing the Lion King uh, and maybe being inspired by, uh, by Jungle Emperor. Uh, they made it pretty clear that they weren't happy with Disney's insistence that nobody at Disney Studio had ever heard of Tesca, as though he wasn't worth hearing about, even though he was called the Walt Disney of Japan, uh, and had, vi had visited the Disney Studio. Um, but uh, they did not intend to uh, uh, make any legal problems over it. With the possible exception, there, uh, it depends on, on how you interpret their press release, but they said something to the effect that uh, uh, they, re they, they sort of reserve the right, depending on further developments, to protect the names of Dr. Tesca and of uh, Kimba. And that was sort of assumed by a lot of fans, you know, since this is not saying nobody's sure, but uh, that if Disney ever tried to claim that Kimba was a ripoff of the Lion King, uh, you know, if there was ever any uh, dispute over, say, foreign rights, if, if Tesco Productions tried to sell foreign rights to Kimba and Disney tried to protest that this is obviously a ripoff of The Lion King, then Tesco Productions would stand up in that case. Uh, but that never happened.